I did the cold shower challenge earlier as directed in the truth. Awesome, Ali. It was so damn cold, I swear I was hyperventilating. Yeah, welcome to the club. Is magnesium in vitamin pills good? Yeah, magnesium's good. Magnesium is one of the big deficiencies in men. Um, and if you don't have high enough magnesium, you won't be able to even make testosterone. So yes, it's good. I'm struggling at my job on Wall Street to perform uh, trading stocks, having stress and anxiety to pull the trigger and make take more risk. Can you give any advice on how to take more risk in life? Yeah, increase your testosterone. So check this out. They've done studies with specifically Wall Street traders. Okay, Wall Street traders. So in the morning, you take a saliva sample from a, a guy who's doing trades, option trading, or stocks, or you know, value stocks, whatever you do. You take saliva in the morning. Then you monitor saliva during the day, and then you see how much money that person made at the end of the day. Crazy studies, man. Over and over, they find out that the guys with the highest testosterone take the most risk and make the most money at the end of the day. Unbelievable. So you need to get your health in order, get your cortisol down, get your testosterone higher. That's how you're going to do it. Um, that's how you take more risk. You increase your testosterone. That's the way to do it. You need to change your body. Your body has to change to take more risk. I mean, what else do you? Your brain has to change to take more risk. Like, you almost have to sit down and realize why taking risk will make you happier. Like, you have to do things that you've never done before. Literally, put your body in a state that it's never been before. And you don't always have to do logical things because remember, logic will usually be risk averse, not risk taking. So, if you like, if you if you're like, oh, I should. Well, whatever you're thinking right now is the risk averse guy. So you almost have to sometimes do the opposite of what you would normally do and get feedback into your body from what you did and learn from it. That's how you become a risk taker. Small steps, small steps. Like what type of risk do you want to take? Maybe you want to, I don't know, um, let's, say, let's say the risk is, um, you have really liked this girl for a while and you haven't told her because it's risky. Okay. Imagine you never telling her for the rest of your life. How is that? How does that feel? Feel that. Like have that feeling inside. Do the cold shower extinction therapy. And imagine yourself talking to her and telling her how you feel. Imagine her reaction. So every single fear that you have, use extinction therapy. See what happens. Take risks during that cold shower. Take risks during fasting. Put your body in different states and you'll be taking more risks, guaranteed. When the cold power hit my head, it was really painful. I know, bro. I will have a high libido if I don't ejaculate for a day or two. But if I ejaculate, it takes hours before I'm ready to come again. What can I do to shorten this time? All right. So... You basically want to reduce your refractory period. Deep breaths, bro. You have to take deep breaths. So let's say you just ejaculated and now you want to have sex again. You have to put your body into an energy to have sex again. You have to calm your body down. When you come, your body is in a very high state. It's a very intense state. Now it's in a very low state. Right after you come, you're like... Right now you want to start having sex again. So take deep breaths. Just calm down, relax, sleep there. And take the deep breaths with your girl. Get your mind off of what's happening right now. Sometimes what happens is we don't take the refractory period is so long. It's because you just had sex. And I bet you something. If there was a porn star there, a new girl, you'd have sex faster. Role play. You gotta role play with your girl. Do a lot of role play. The sex will be really good, and you'll be able to have a lot of sex all the time. Okay. I don't have insurance, so going to a doctor to get my levels checked costing a lot. Do you recommend doing a saliva test you buy online? Yeah, man. If you have no choice, do it. Here's the key. Even though the saliva test is not as accurate, if you do it now and you do it after you boost testosterone, 
you can at least compare using the same technique. That's the key. Compare using the same technique. So don't do a saliva test now, then do a real blood test later. No, do the same thing. You'll be fine.